Hi everyone! With the spirit of Halloween coming, I thought I'd do some horror-related sound design, which is my personal favorite form of sound design. So let's get right into it. Like most horror sound design, Dead by Daylight uses a lot of crunchy textures and simple processing. You can replicate a lot of their sound design using the following sources. Cellophane crinkling, Gore samples, they especially like peppers. Pepper grinders, tremoring objects, dirt moving, and LFE drones. Spooky. The real secret of their sound design comes to four simple processes, and that is EQ, pitch shifting, form and shifting, and dynamic processing. Now, if you have ever played around with pitch shifting and form and shifting, you might be a little bit confused as to what the differences between them are. Pitch shifting adjusts the perceived note that is being played, where form and shifting keeps the note the same, but adjusts the timbre of the sound instead. Think of like, oh, yeah, I, it, it adjusts the vowel sound that is being played. Anytime that you're going to be working with pitch or formant, I highly suggest setting your sample rate to at least 96. That will allow you to go ahead and lower the pitch of your samples by 12 semitones before you start losing any high end. With that being said, if you want to push that even further without losing any high end, you can actually go ahead and set your sample rate to 192, and that will allow you to lower your sounds by at least two octaves before you start losing any high end. Okay, so now let's look at the sound. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created two sounds here, and I've taken all the processing off other than a couple pitch shifting that I've done before they actually hit the DAW. So let's go ahead and listen to each independent layer before processing. So we've got some dirt falling into some bushes, some cracking of the pepper grinder, some LFE rumbling, and some silophane crackling. This is going to give you the majority of the character of the sound. That is essentially the sound. Let's play it all together without processing. So I've got some nice movement in there and that should help shape everything. So let's start the processing off by using some Pro Q3. And essentially all I'm doing is just chopping everything off after 11,000 Hertz. Reason being is I don't really like the brightness of it. Um, Dead by Daylight sound design is very dark and ominous. So anything that anything that's past 11,000 Hertz, I've kind of just cut off and, and left alone. And it sounds like this. get some of that nice lo-fi-ish type sound. Now the next bit of processing that I've done is pitch shifting and form and shifting. And for this here, I'm actually using a plugin called Manipulator. However, you can also go ahead and use Little Alter Boy. It effectively does the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and have a listen to before and after. Get that nice crunchy sound in there from the cellophane and the pepper grinder. It sounds so nice. The last bit of processing I've gone ahead and done is a little bit of dynamic processing. And for that, I'm just going ahead and using Uber Loud to push the low end and the mid range and a little bit of the high end in there just to go ahead and give the sound some overall uh, crunch. But with that being said, I didn't want to go ahead and just up the perceived volume. So I've gone ahead and lowered it by 6.6 .6 dB as well. So that is the sound design. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz. And keep in mind, I will be posting a few more horror-related content in October. Go make some noise.